So, I was playing with the new Datasmith file export and direct link uh, plugin. And in this particular case, I wanted to use it for SketchUp Pro. And SketchUp Pro, not the 27 to 2020, but the new one, which is 2021. Now, to be able to do that, first of all, you need to go to the Unreal page, but I'll leave the link at the bottom of the video and uh, remarks. When you have to change this one to the 427 preview. Now if you download it and you start installing it, inside SketchUp you will get these icons. It's a new plugin for Datasmith. So you can do right click, there's a Datasmith here, activate it and it will show up these little buttons. Now what I did for testing is I opened two sessions of SketchUp. One session of <coughs> Twinmotion, which is still empty, and you have these four buttons. This one is just showing you messages, some kind of feedback on what the plugin is doing. This one is exporting a Datasmith file, so not a direct link, but just exporting the file. This one shows you the connection. If you press it, you can see no connection found because we haven't activated the connection yet. Now if you go here, there's a synchronize button, which is the direct link. And this is basically replacing the old technology. It's much better, so I would start using it, although it's still in preview mode. Now what you need to do is go to your train motion, use the import direct link, check here those little buttons, and you will find that it recognizes the two uh, SketchUp files I have open. Now activate the first one, say OK, and there it goes. You could also press the synchronize button, but I did it already, so it starts loading it directly. Now, this is the first one. One of the good things is you can now actually move your object around if you want to. You can see, and <coughs> the options are here. You have some additional, additional options, so if you go to the direct link, you can alter it into keep higher key, for instance. Uh, you can also, if you have, for instance, deleted some objects inside your Twinmotion scene, you can just re-import them directly and reset the materials you might have applied and reset the transfer you might have supplied inside Twinmotion. So that's the things you can do. There are some little things left to be done, but it's still preview mode, but it works already pretty well. Now, if we do the other one, import direct link, this one, I press OK, and like I said, I did this before so there it is and it's actually of course on the same place as the other one so let me just move it as a whole you can see that's the other file which I imported so cool thing two things two SketchUp files two sessions into one tree motion so you can build it up really nicely and using the new tools you get new options for reset transforms, reset materials, and re-import deleted objects. <coughs> More will follow, but it's already there. Make sure and go and download it because it solves a lot of problems already. Thanks.